Good morning, kindergarten. I am so excited to see you. It is Mrs. Merritt. We are going to do module three, lesson 17 today. And our objective is I can compare to find if there's enough. So sometimes we need more of things and we say there's not enough. And sometimes we have enough and we say we're all set, there's enough. So we're gonna explore that concept a little more today, okay? First off, we're going to start with dot eight cards, and I want you to tell me how many dots you see. Eight. I see eight. My brain subitized it into two parts. I have a group of how many here? Four. One, two, three, four. How many do I have down here? One, two, three, four. Four and four is eight. Let's keep going. How many dots do you see this time? Still eight. Very good. My brain separated them into a top row and a bottom row. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many do you see here? Eight again. Great job. My brain separated them into a top group in a bottom group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many dots do you see here? Eight again. So I think our trend is that our number of the day is going to be eight today. How many, or how did your brain separate them? Okay. My brain separated them into a top part and a bottom part. I saw three on top and five below. So I went five, three, five, six, seven, eight. And I counted up quick. How many of that do you see here? Eight again. Now this one, I didn't see in two parts. I'll be honest. I saw it as one on top six in the middle and one down below. How did you see it? That's a great, a great way too. And our last one, how many dots do you see here? Eight again. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. So for a little bit of review, I want you to show me bigger and smaller and we are going to talk about which objects are bigger and smaller now are our objects lined up no i can line them up for us but we can our brain has started to recognize what is bigger and smaller already but i will line them up for you is the pencil bigger or smaller than the crayon it is bigger. Very good. So the crayon is smaller or bigger than the pencil. Yes, the crayon is smaller than the pencil. Great job. Look at the caterpillar and look at the bug. Is the bug bigger or smaller than the caterpillar? The bug is smaller than the caterpillar. And the caterpillar is what? than the bug. Bigger than the bug. Love those vocab words. Look at the banana and look at the acorn. Are the bananas bigger or smaller than the acorn? The bananas are bigger than the acorn. Look at bigger than the acorn. And the acorn is smaller than the bananas. Look at the cat and look at the elephant. Is the cat bigger or smaller than the elephant? The cat is smaller than the elephant and the elephant is what? Bigger than the cat. Look at the plane and look at the car. Is the plane bigger or smaller than the car? The plane is bigger than the car. So the car is 
smaller than the plane. Great job, guys. I am impressed. So today we are going to learn a new concept, and that is seeing if we have enough. So sometimes we have enough, and sometimes we don't have enough. When we don't have enough, we need more, and we need to increase the number. And when we do have enough, we're good. And we may have some left over, actually, that we could share with other people. So, I want to pretend that these kids at our table are having a popcorn party. And we're going to set the table for them. And we have to make sure and see if there is enough um, plates and utensils and everything for their popcorn party, okay? So each person will need a plate. So I'm going to drag over a plate. One, two, three, four. Were there enough plates for everyone? Yeah, there were. Were there any left over? No, you're right. There were not any left over. So if someone else came to join our popcorn party, would we have enough? No, we would not. We would have to go to the store and buy some more. Let's see what else we need for our popcorn party. Now we need to pass out the spoons. One, two, three. What happened? There aren't enough spoons. You're right. He doesn't have a spoon. And we don't have any left. So do we have enough? No, we do not have enough spoons for our popcorn party. Don't worry, though. I went to the store. I got him a spoon. See? He's all set now. Now we have to pass out the cups. Can you help me count? One. Two. Three. Four. Do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough. We actually have some left over. We have some extras. We have more than what we need. How many more do we have than what we need? How many are over here? Just one. Good job. Now we're going to pass out the napkins. One, two, <gasps> do we have enough? No, we do not have enough. Look at these two friends do not have napkins on their plate, right? And I don't have any more over here. So how many more napkins do we need? Let's count. One. Two. We need two more napkins. Thankfully, there's a store nearby and I went to grab some napkins, but can you remind me how many more I needed? Two. Very good. One. Two. So, if when we're talking about enough and not enough, when I say we have enough, does that mean everyone has what they need? Yes, everyone would have what they need. So, right now, does everyone at the table have what they need? Yes, they each have a cup, a plate, a spoon, and a napkin. And no one has anything more than each other. There's enough for everyone. But if we didn't run to the store and get these napkins, would everyone have enough? 
Or would we have enough for our popcorn party? I'm sorry. No, we would not have enough. So, when I say we have enough, do we need any more? No, but when I say we do not have enough, do we need some more? Yeah, especially for this popcorn party, we want to make sure every person has what they need, right? You don't want to invite someone over and you be the only one eating the popcorn when you invited them over for a popcorn party, right? Not at all. So today's vocabulary that we need to lock into side our brains, let's lock it in, is enough. And enough means we don't need it anymore but then there's the opposite and it's when we do not have enough and that means we need more sometimes we may only need one more remember with the spoons we only needed one more and sometimes like this case we need how many more one two so it all depends on the situation, how much more you need. But if you don't have enough, the bottom line is you need more. Okay? For your exit ticket today, you are going to be looking at pictures and seeing if there are enough of each. And sometimes the question may say, how many more would you need? And when you see that, you can think of this problem. If something doesn't have a match, go with it. So if the question says there are four people at a party and you have two napkins, just like we do here, how many more do you need? How many more napkins would you need? One, two. A great way is to look at the pictures and figure it out. Or if you need to, draw your pictures. That always helps me too. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow.